Hi hey guys, Adam Katz from dogtrainertoolbox.com. Today I'm going to be doing a website critique for Carlos Ramirez Canine.com. Carlos Ramirez Canine. Carlos is a client of our 100% done for you Google Ads management service, which if you're interested in getting more desperate dog owners to call you for dog training, or if you have a doggy daycare business, for example, uh, check us out at dogtrainertoolbox.com and you can learn more. Getting into this, now, this website critique is a little bit different because there's actually a page on the site which I'm going to show you, which is very similar to the landing page that we use, almost identical, in fact, um, to the landing page that we typically send our AdWords traffic to. The issue with uh, working with Carlos in Ocala, Florida, was that for whatever reason, Google's kind of weird sometimes, and they red flagged something about the landing page that didn't even make any sense. And rather than spending two weeks trying to get their idiot tech support in Mumbai, India to fix the issue, uh, we just decided to send the traffic to Carlos's website. So what Carlos did is, and I'm going to show you in just a second, is basically replicated uh, a lot of elements from our landing page uh, on his website, on, on a sub page on his website that we're sending traffic to. Um, so I don't have too many qualms with that, but he is making a few mistakes that I think probably a lot of you guys are also making. So I'm not picking on Carlos here by any means. I really like Carlos. Um, I think he's a young dog trainer. who has got an incredible career ahead of him in the professional dog training sector. And I really look forward to seeing uh, what he can do. So none of this should be taken personal. But again, if you're not Carlos and you're watching this video, I think there's a ton you're going to be able to benefit from. So starting off. On the home page, and again, this is not the page that we're sending paid traffic to. However, what this page does have going for it is that it's a really great picture and it looks nice. It looks professional. What it doesn't have going for it is that it doesn't sell. It, it's, it's like completely devoid of working. This is like having an employee who is lazy and is not working for you. So let me show you what I mean. Number one, Right up at the top, you have the the name, um, and that in and of itself is fine, but it probably should be over here. Um, and then you have a link that says pet training, working dogs, and store. And then you have links to your social media profiles. Now, get rid of these. This is like the worst idea, right? Because presumably, you're paying for traffic, whether it's through Google Ads or through your organic SEO or the graphics on your truck, whatever it is, or your time, you're paying to get people to this, this homepage. Um, well, let me back up. We're not actually sending Google ads traffic to this homepage, but just the same. You're paying with your time and everything else that you're doing to get people to your website. Probably one way or another, they're going to end up on this homepage and they want to check out your Facebook page, but let's watch what happens. Oh, Hey, what, what's this? I got a message over here. Let's see. There's some cool stuff I can look at. Uh, well, I was interested in Carlos, but Mark Pusateri left me a message and I got to check out what this is and you lost me. My wife just called me to dinner. I closed the computer. I go to dinner and you've lost me. When I get back, I open the computer up again. I start a new search and maybe end up with your competition. You don't want anything to ever interrupt the sales process and the sales process of the website is to get them to really do one of two things. Either pick up the phone and call you, or if it's in the middle of the night, fill out the contact form so that you can get back to them in the morning. The big problem I have with this homepage, aside from having the social media links here, which again, big mistake, is you need to have, the, the, there's no reason for me to do anything. There's no reason for me to click on pet training or working dogs or anything. Let me show you an example. This is not a perfect site, but this is just a quickie site that I put up. To give you an example of even if you don't have graphic design skills, if you have good copy and copies the persuasive text that you put on on the page on the website, um, it could still work. It still sells. So same kind of deal here. We have the name up here. Everything's very easy to read. And right up at the top, limited time offer, book a free consultation, evaluation and temperament test for your dog and eighty nine dollar value. So if they call now. They're getting something. I'm giving them something. I'm giving them a reason to pick up the phone and call. 
if they scroll down a little bit more, Marin County Dog Trainer guarantees she can get your dog to listen to you. All right, so now, now you're pushing my hot buttons. A perfectly behaved dog starts with just one call. Call blah, blah, blah for a free consultation, evaluation, and temperament test for your dog in $89 value. Okay, so what we've done here is we've painted a picture. We've pushed some emotional hot buttons. We've established some credibility. You know, there's a guarantee here. And we've given them a reason to actually call. I can go through this site, but I've done other videos on this. You know, voted number one dog trainer in, in Marin County by over 1,200 satisfied dog training clients. This is very similar to a lot of the copy that we have on our landing page, which I'll show you. If you go down here and you click pet training, um, Carlos has actually taken the the copy that, that I've written um, from the landing page and incorporated it onto his website here, which is fine because he's paying us to run Google AdWords. So I'm, I'm, I'm letting him basically leasing him the use of the copy. If Carlos at some point stops paying me, then he can't continue to use this copy because all this is copyrighted. But th that being aside, I'm throwing that in there because I don't want you guys who aren't Carlos watching this and then copying this. If you do, uh, we're going to have problems. So don't do that. But you can write your own copy. You know, you can make your own, what you write here, make it unique to you. Come up with a unique selling proposition that separates you from everybody else in your marketplace. So this here obviously isn't the problem. This is this is good copy here. We have strong copy. You should have similar copy, not identical, but the similar elements, you know, benefit oriented headline, um, liberally sprinkle testimonials, a strong call to action, all of that stuff should be on the homepage so that it's actually working for you. Now, why? Because we have the landing page here. And so we're sending the AdWords traffic directly to the site, but because it's on your homepage, you're going to get a lot of people who are like, Hey, let me check out what else is on this website. Okay. And they might get distracted. All right. Come over here. Right. And look at different stuff. Instead, what I want them to do is I want them to take immediate action. I don't want anything that might interrupt the sale. Yeah. You know, the sale is ultimately getting them to call you and then being able to pitch them in, in in my opinion, the best way to pitch them is face to face. Uh, but even if you just pitch them over the phone, that's fine. You don't want anything to interrupt that. And so the difference is check this out right down here after they've read through this, this copy right here. What have we got as they go? Oh, oh, wait a minute. Let me check out the Facebook page or the Instagram page again, where I get distracted by messages from my friends. And then my wife calls me to dinner and you've lost them. Or, hey, what's this? Squarespace. Oh, wow. Maybe I'll make my own website. Hey, I've been thinking about starting up a little lawn care business. Maybe I'll make my own website. Again, bam, you've lost them. Right? You've lost them. Also, you notice they don't have, they're not featuring like big links on their homepage to, uh, to their social media properties. Right? Because they know that Zuckerberg's really smart. And he's going to keep them on Facebook. He spends tens of millions of dollars a year figuring out how to keep people on Facebook. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Interruption. I totally missed it. Check this out. Did you see it? They are actually making the same mistake. Even these big companies, it's all monkey see monkey do. They need to hire a conversion optimization specialist who can go in there and A-B test and prove to them that having the links on the bottom of their homepage or anywhere on their homepage is actually hurting sales. I'm sure it is. I'm absolutely sure it is. So here's what I want you to do. Get rid of this, get rid of all these distractions, get rid of this. Okay. Since we're paying to bring traffic here, we, we don't want to interrupt that process of getting them to pick up the phone and call. Right? So if you get, let's say a hundred people who visit this page and right now, let's say, Let's say we get a 5% response, five people um, are responding, you know, clicking on this. And again, I'm just making that number up, but let's say an additional five people who are getting ready to, they get distracted by this, or they get distracted by this, or they get turned off, but who knows? Okay. Get them on the phone as soon as you can. So going back here, I'm, I'm not even going to spend too much time here. I don't remember if I 
if I mentioned this, because I've done a couple of takes of this video, to be honest, but if it were me, I would set up a completely separate website for the working dog stuff. And then you can cross link, you can put a link on the working dog site to the pet dog training stuff to this site, and vice versa. And that'll help both websites rank better for your SEO. It'll also make the fact that we're, we're targeting keywords with the Google ad campaigns specific to obedience and behavior modification, it'll be more focused. Um, it'll everything will match better because you want to match your message to your market. So to recap, I would get rid of all of this on this page, on this landing page, get rid of all of this on this page and get rid of the links to the social media stuff. If you if you insist on having links to the social media stuff, maybe put it on the trainer bio page or a, uh, some other sub page that would make more sense to me. Anyways, I hope this has helped. Guys, if you need to grow your dog training business, if you want to get more desperate dog owners to call you, check out dogtrainertoolbox.com to learn more about our 100% done-for-you Google Ads management service. Take care.